I think we're live. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining me on this late night episode of MJS Moments. It occurred to me today when I was in the re kitchen recipe testing that there's a recipe in my arsenal that I've never shared with you. And I thought, that is a shame. And I was thinking back this afternoon about where this recipe came from. And it came from a trip to Paris about three years ago with my friend Holly. We decided that we were going to take um, a Parisian cooking class all about puff pastry. We did not plan the class so great uh, timing wise because we decided to take the class the very next day uh, that we landed and we were exhausted, jet lagged and the class started at 9 a.m. So we dragged ourselves out of the apartment to the cooking class and that's pretty much all that I remember. Um, I had to do a little bit of research and look back at photos that we uh, had from that class. And one of them were these beautiful puff pastry pinwheels. So of course the class in Paris was all about how to make puff pastry from scratch, which was a lot of work and not something that I would do on a daily basis as uh, an everyday home cook. But I did figure out a way to make beautiful puff pastry pinwheels using frozen puff pastry. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you tonight is all about frozen puff pastry and all of these in this fabulous way I discovered to make pinwheels. So I'm going to take you into my kitchen. I've got a little late night bevy because you know why not and Welcome to my kitchen. So I didn't light it tonight. I wanted it to be a cozy experience for everybody watching and It's this recipe like I said is using frozen puff pastry for making these absolutely fabulous Pinwheels puff pastry pinwheels perfect for breakfast or brunch. You can put dollops of jam You can put delicious salted butter. You can eat them just the way they are they're nice and crisp, as you can see, beautifully baked and oop, little flakes of butter. And they're perfect for my recipe to show you tonight. So I'm going to get some frozen puff pastry out of the fridge. And what I love so much about this recipe is it really doesn't take much um, skill at all, if any. So this is frozen puff pastry. Come on over here. Let me show you what I'm doing. So this is frozen puff pastry that I've defrosted um, in the refrigerator overnight. And all I'm going to do is, this is one sheet, so this makes four pinwheels. And this recipe, you, I don't need to roll it out. I don't need to do anything except to place it on a piece of parchment paper that's lined with a sheet pan. And I'm literally just going to cut it in four pieces. Again, I'm not rolling anything out. I'm not having to do anything to this puff pastry except to defrost it in the refrigerator overnight. And I'm going to take the four squares. And I'm just going to separate them because the puff pastry, of course, does puff up in the oven. The layers of butter will be beautifully puffed as soon as they hit the hot oven and the steam makes everything puffy and delicious and flaky. And really the, the, the trickiest part about this recipe is actually just getting all of the cuts right. So I'm going to make four cuts onto each puff pastry square. So you want to visualize kind of a one inch circle in the center here, if you will just like that. You don't have to draw it, but I'm just going to show you. And I'm literally going to just cut the puff pastry with about one and a half inch cuts on, on each corner going toward the center. And I'm going to do this for all of the squares. It's really simple. That one came apart, so we're just going to put that back together. Sometimes where the crease of the puff pastry is, it can be a little bit more sensitive, but I will just take a little bit of egg wash when I'm about to fold these and put that back together. 
So really quick. What I love about this recipe too is you can actually make these the night before and then reheat them in a 350 degree oven for about five minutes on a sheet pan the morning of and nobody will know that you didn't make them fresh that that particular morning. So we've made the cuts. I have an egg wash which is one extra large egg and about a teaspoon of water and we're gonna fold this. We're gonna fold the puff pastry so all I want to do is take one corner and fold it into the center, press it down, and then take the next corner of the next panel and fold that as well. My kitchen is really warm, so when you're working with puff pastry, you want to work pretty quickly. But you're just taking alternate corners so that you're literally making a pinwheel. We'll do it again over here. So this is really simple and this really is a beautiful recipe to make if you can even call it a recipe. I mean, this is really no cooking, we're just folding. But this is a wonderful addition to a beautiful breakfast, a beautiful brunch and I just love them so much. And the Best of all, when you're when they're baking, your entire kitchen smells like a French patisserie. So, who doesn't want that? So, again, so there we go. We folded each one. Et voila, very simple. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of egg wash and just egg wash all of the surfaces. Don't worry about if a little bit of the egg gets onto the parchment paper, nothing's gonna happen. And if it's if you're doing this and your kitchen is really, really warm, you may want to return the you may want to put the sheet pan into the refrigerator for five or ten minutes just to let the puff pastry uh, get cold. You want to bake puff pastry when it's really, really, really cold. Uh, that's how you get those delicious, flaky, buttery layers. So from here, I literally am going to put it into the oven for about 16 to 18 minutes. I like them more on the 18 minute side because they get really kind of dark, like this one has dark little corners. And this kind of caramelization of the butter is where I think all of the flavor comes from. Mm. That's really good. So that's it. In 20 minutes, you'll have delicious puff pastry pinwheels that everybody will think you made from scratch. If you like this recipe, please subscribe and head over to marksievers.com and let's have some fun together. Good night. I'm gonna take one more bite. I can't resist. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look, I found my cognac. <laughs>